Hello, guys. Yay. Hi. Thank you for joining. Thank, Thank you. you. So could you briefly introduce yourselves? I'm Nathaniel. I was born and raised in Kansai. Mm -hmm. And I've lived in America and in Germany. And I've just returned to Japan. So how long did you live in Kansai when you were a kid? Until I was 19. Then you yes. moved to Germany? Yes. Oh, wow. So, but when did you live in the U.S.? I went to college there. When you were in Japan, did you go to Japanese school? I went to, we both went to Japanese public school. And then oh, wow. middle and high school was an international school. What kind of international school was it? What kind of school is that? <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's an American Christian international school. Okay. But quite a small one. Like compared to other international schools in Japan or Kansai. Mm. And I think it's quite unique because there's a lot of Japanese students mm. and a lot of Korean students as well. Like it might have changed now, right. but when we were going to the school, we used to, you could choose which language you wanted to study every subject in. What? So, like, yeah, so some people would do, you know, science in English and then maths in Japanese, and then do kokugo. Eh, so during break times, like even Nathanael and I, we would speak Japanese. Like right. the kind of common language was Japanese, even yeah. though it was an international school. Right, right. It's quite yeah. unique. Wish I had gone to that school. Because <laughs> my, <laughs> my international school was English only. Like you can never, oh, ever yeah. speak Japanese during class mm. or like, if I spoke Japanese during class, I had to pay go goen, five wow. yen to the teacher. Yeah. Even. Like, they were that strict. That would have been so much better for me. <laughs> yeah, it was really useful because you can then tailor it to how you want to study and learn. And it was good. I liked that. Did you take all of the subjects mostly in English, Nata, or did you mix it up? Yeah, I knew I was going to leave Japan either to Germany. I was heading to Germany. I ended up in America. Uh, so I took classes in English. After the US, you went back to Germany? Yeah. So I tried out in Germany. It didn't really work out. Why and didn't it work I, out? <laughs> it's uh, complex, but okay. I didn't get into the German system. Right. And so I went to an American college. And then after I graduated, I thought I, I'm i German. I have to live in Germany at least for some time. Mm. So I went to Germany and worked there. And it's been how, good. How long did you work in Germany? Four years. Four years. And then you went back to Japan. Yeah. How was your life in Germany? Because you grew up in Japan as a Ger as a German but you mm. never got to live in Germany, right? Like kind of mm. similar with my kind of situation where I'm British, but I never got to live in the UK. So how was it going back to Germany and actually living there as a German? First few times I had culture shocks. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't but... like it at all. But after college, I really tried again. And it was difficult, but mm. uh, I, I think... I was different. I can be different. I knew I can be different and I tried to find my own way. What, what kind of culture shock did you have in Germany? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is very direct. Yeah. Yeah. Speaks their mind. Do you yeah. think you're more Japanese in that sense? I'm very Japanese. Yeah. I, I feel it. <laughs> Already. Already. Yeah. <laughs> How was the food in Germany, like compared to Japan? The first thing I bought in Germany was a rice cooker. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. So <laughs> there. And, and I yeah. bought rice online, Japanese rice online. And yeah, I tried to cook Japanese, I guess. Right. For elementary school, you went to Japanese school, right? Yeah. How was that? How was it only? I thought, I think you guys went to the same elementary school? Uh, no. No. Okay, no. So were you the only white person in school? Yep. Yeah, how was that experience? It was <laughs> challenging, yeah, at times. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. and, and I had my friends, but 
there were difficult times too. At home, we spoke German and、mm. we hold on to German culture. So, in the first few years, we tried to celebrate birthdays.、Mm. And, and we took snacks to school and handed it to everyone, and everyone、mm. was very happy, but Uh, <laughs> it's not a Japanese custom. Did the school allow that or did they like say no? I think so. I didn't notice it.、Right. I thought it's normal, but、yeah. it, it was just us doing. Right, My right, sister, right. I have a sister and two younger brothers.、Uh -huh. and she、uh, had parties at home and with her friends. And, right, right. Yeah, but my birthday was in spring break, so I didn't really do that. But <laughs> so. <laughs> We stood、now. out. We stood out. <laughs> Their family, the roles are really tall. So, Yoki n i m e t a m e d a t s u Nata wa shincho nan senti d e s k a k u k u j i I'm 190 centimeters. Ah, right. So, that is quite tall in Japan. You、yeah. both grew up in Shiga, was it? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. So, you went to a local school in Shiga, right?、Mm, yeah. That's And、right. when did your family move to Japan? So, Kind of similar to you. So, my、right. mom was also born in Japan and、right. grew up in Shiga. Ah, so m a n d a And she met my. So, my mom is half Welsh, half American.、Mm. Her parents. And so, my grandparents both moved to Japan and met in Japan. Ah, it's so done. It was、yeah. like, oh. And then my mom met my dad in the UK. My dad、right. is. Half Cornish, half Irish. So more half English. Cornish, half Irish. Yeah, right. Okay. So then they moved to Japan, and me and my two younger brothers were born here. And I lived in Japan until I was 18, or just before turning 19. Then you moved to Wales? I moved to England. Okay. For, Well, yeah, technically England. Like Wales was my base while I was in the UK because、mm. I moved on my own. My whole family was still in Japan. Right, right. And right. then I went to university in England, did a few years of work, and、right. then came back to Japan. So, where in England did you live? Which college? Which university?、Mm. I went to, I did my degree at York, University of York. Hi, hi. And then did my master's at UCL in London. Did you often go back to the UK growing up, or how was it like? Not really, not compared to other people, but still, I think I went back. I think I'd, I'd been back five times before I properly moved,、mm. and it was less for my brothers. Like I had been the most. Right. But、right. never longer than, you know, I think like three months at the longest. Or... Right, right, right. Because I remember when I went to university, I'd never experienced British spring and autumn. Because, you、uh, know, we always went for summer break or winter break. Right, right. How was it actually living there for the first time? You know, they say there's, you know, the wave of like, lots of excitement when you move and then you have the、mm -hmm. identity crisis. And I really did experience that. Like, it was、yeah. so fun at the beginning. Right. And then it became winter, and I was just like, Mm. Who am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. What kind of identity crisis did, you, crisis did you have? It was really interesting because I hated standing out when I was a、mm. child in Japan. I hated being a foreigner. Yeah. But yeah. then when I moved to the UK, suddenly, you know, everyone expected me to be British and、yeah. to think and act like everyone.、Yeah. And I was like, I've lost my guiding identity. Yeah, yeah, I'm so used to being a foreigner that it's,、right. I just can't cope not being a foreigner. How did people react to you when you said,、mm -hmm. I'm British, but I grew up in Japan? And how did it go? Yeah, I, I always used to say the same sentence. So, you know, people would say, w h e r e also because I had moved to the UK when everyone was starting university.、Mm. So, everyone's meeting new people, everyone's asking about you. So, people would say, Where are you from? And I would always say, Technically, I'm from North Wales, but I grew up in Japan.、Mm. And then the different reactions, you know,、right. some people instantly ask questions, but most people are just like, Okay. <laughs> 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 
ね、so, so I just had that one sentence which was、right. like これを言うって They always want to place you and they're like <laughs> they want to place you somewhere but if you say like North Wales okay she's North Welsh but They don't know how to place you, but Nata wa sore do that when you went back to Germany. When you told Germans that you grew up in Japan, how did they react? Yeah, they knew I was different.、Right. I acted Japanese. I, my German was pretty good, but、uh, if I talk longer, they ask me, Where are you from? Right, 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 right. Yeah.、So、do you, in, can they tell that you had a, like an accent or? I didn't have any dialect. I think that was、right. the problem. It was very neutral. Because I only learned from my parents. When、mm. I was in America, I always introduced myself as a German. I、oh. didn't want to explain coming from Japan and my experience and right, just right, said, right. I'm German. And they said, But, okay. And yeah, yeah they were fine I, with it. Why didn't you、nice. want to go through that explanation? I need to explain everything I needed to explain everything to everyone. No, so do I say it's men look side because you know they're, they're going to react in a certain way, right? How did that make you feel? I think in the beginning, I tried to explain. You meet so many people and you can't be friends with everyone. So、mm. I stopped. I. I said I'm German and only with two friends I explained myself. Do you feel like you're negating some part of yourself when you don't say you grew up in Japan? So I'm the complete opposite. Okay. Those, like, those, those. I, if I don't say I grew up in Japan, or like if I don't have Japan in my introduction, I haven't, I haven't explained my whole self. Right, right. I get you completely. Like, it's like my main identity, right? So, if I don't、mm-hmm. explain that, I feel like I'm lying to them almost.、Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's like it makes me really uncomfortable. But not that I'm German and it was like that. It depends. It depends. <laughs>、ね、I, I feel like I don't have to tell everyone.、Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, so、uh, to some people, I say I grew up in Japan and、mm-hmm. I talk about my experience there. And sometimes I know to this person I have to say,、uh, but yeah. Why did you two want to move back to Japan again? Diff- lots of different reasons, but. <laughs> so, no, I always wanted to go back to Japan as an adult.、Mm. and Live in Japan on my own. With COVID, there just weren't any jobs in the UK. Right, right, so right. I, like, I go to Japan, I can get this job, I can do this. But I think the main reason, the main reason was that so I'd done seven years in the UK and it had become too comfortable. Mm, mm. I was ready for. I just felt like I'm, I'm too comfortable now and I need to go somewhere else to、mm. not challenge myself, but just for life to be a bit more challenging and exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as me, then it's opposite、yeah. of what I'm doing right now because、mm. my life in Japan was getting too comfortable and like, it was, was getting repetitive. So I was like,、mm. I got to get out of my comfort zone. And so that's why I moved to London right now. What was it like living in the UK for like seven years? How did you、mm. feel like? Did you miss Japan all the time? Was your family always in Japan or how was it? So, my family, my whole family moved to the UK、uh, when I was in my second year of university.、Mm. So, I'd done、mm. like a year and a half, two years in the UK on my own, and then they joined me. Right, right.、And、a lot happened in those seven years.、Mm. Like, you know, First, it started with this complete identity shock and、mm. not feeling comfortable. And by the end, like, I really feel British now. And I,、right. I live to the UK, I feel really comfortable there. And like my accent, you know, I think when I first went, I had more of an American international、yeah. accent, which completely changed by the end of the seven years. So, yeah,、oh. but I think also I, I was in London for two years.
Mm. And London is, I'm sure you know, it's just completely different yeah. to everywhere else in the UK. Yeah, very. Yeah. So, that was where I really felt like I belong here. And mm. I, I feel really comfortable. I'm surrounded by people like me who belong to so many different places. Mm-hmm. But we all come together in London. Did you meet any Japanese people in London when you lived there? Not many. Mm. I actually met more when I was in York. Ah, you're York. And I also, I did a part-time job, like, most summers or my holidays in Wales with mm. Japanese students. Mm. And, like, I had a Japanese boss in Wales with my part-time job. So <laughs> <laughs> this tiny town in North Wales has a a place where they host um Japanese students to come and do kenshu. Not like a shugaku ryoko, but they come for like a week or two weeks and do homestays with local families. And they also have a, a foundation program. So Japanese students, they come to Wales, study for a year. And then they go to a British university. Uh, so I used to help out with that. So not, are you from that town? Um, not far. It's about 20 minutes by car. How was it interacting <laughs> with Japanese people in Wales or the UK? That's where I learned the Hyojungo. So- and lost <laughs> my ability to be able to speak Kansai then all the time. <laughs> so God. なんか言われたらめっちゃ関西弁じゃんみたいな。めっちゃ言われるからめっちゃ恥ずかしくて。みんなに合わせたら標準語を習ってしまって。Like now I'm I can do Kansai then, but 仕事とか結構標準語になっちゃったりする。Were they surprised or were they like were they like taken aback because you spoke Kansai then? Like you look British, but you not only speak Japanese but you speak Kansai, Kansai then the show. How did they react to that? They've come from Japan to this tiny, well, not tiny, but, you know, tiny remote place in the UK. The foreign staff is there and the foreign staff member suddenly starts speaking Japanese. So, mm-hmm. like, they're taken aback. They put us a Kansai then. It was like, it was too much for me to cope with. <laughs> so, soften it. <laughs> it was like, right. at least if it's your jungle, then the shock is kind of half right. the size of what right. the shock would be. And like, I really wish I had been able to, you know, just be stronger, I guess, and mm-hmm. mm. talk in Kansai Ben. But it's really difficult to talk in Kansai Ben when everyone else isn't. Like, it really is hard. How is it living in Japan by yourself as an adult now? It's different. I think, I so I live in Yamaguchi, mm. in Jogokuchiho, right. which... Like, firstly, that's been completely different to living in Kansai. So I think my experience now would be different if I was in Kansai or if I had gone back to where I grew up. It wasn't as hard as I expected in some ways. And in other ways, it is hard. Just Mm. because I think there's less chances or opportunities of meeting people or making friends. Like Mm. Making friends takes longer in Japan anyway. Mm. Yeah. And I'm in a mitta inaka, like countryside, hey, 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 hey. with not many people my age. So in some ways, it's taken longer and mm. longer to kind of feel feel adjusted, I guess. Do the local people think you're an English teacher there, or? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. So I'm I'm on the Jet program, but as a CIR, Kokusai Koryuin. So everyone knows who I am. Like I'm on all the city newspapers and you know I'm I'm often on the TV and like on the radio and oh, wow. You know, the day I arrived, my like Nankanani welcome ceremony was on the local TV for two days. Celebrity Anna. Celebrity yeah. Anna. This city has about eh, 23,000 people. Okay, okay. Like every month, the the city newsletter is given out and there's an article that I write every month. So it's like, oh, interesting. you know, Bon. Sadawa, how was it for you going back to Japan and living there again? 
I just moved here, so everything's still fresh, and right. I really enjoy it. But to be honest, I didn't really want to go back to Japan. So I lived in Germany and America in total eight years, and I found my way. I didn't want to go back. Did you get too comfortable in Germany? I really enjoyed my life there. Uh, it was a big, big step. To come to Japan. The kitchen is so tiny. My back hurts. It's crazy. <laughs> Realize I'm not very Japanese. I am Japanese, but I'm not very Japanese. Do you so, think you've become more German in the past eight years? I, I'm, I'm okay with being myself. I don't have to be Japanese. I don't have to be German. I don't have to be American. I can be myself. I think I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't do that before. But you are who you are. You are. Not the, and that's that's it. Once I left Japan, my world view uh, widened. Mm. This is how everything is done. Hi. Everything was set. But じゃあ、お二人とも最後に日本語で何か言いますか。そう、よく言われんねん。外国人から、ドイツ人とかアメリカ人から日本語話してやって。でも何言えばいいかわかんない。<笑> いや、確かに。あの、効率の小学校行ってたけど、友達によく、え、ジョナちゃん、英語話してるん?英語話してって言われるけど、そう、そう、それ反対バージョンもある。そう、なる。So, <笑> is there anything you want to advertise? Yes. yes. Let me advertise our YouTube channels. <laughs> yeah. So, we have two YouTube channels and the first one is called Joy Joy and it's a group of I think there's 10 of us at the moment. Mm. It's Something a group around. channel. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a group of us who all grew up in Japan in the Kansai region together. And on Joy Joy, we talk about anything to do with Japan, international upbringing, cultures, our different countries, fun videos, things like that. Mm. And then we have Joy Joy Talk, which is more of a Christian channel. So all of us enjoy joy our christians and we talk about our faith and what we believe in and how that impacts our lives so mm. please subscribe comment like yes. share everything so thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and please go subscribe to joy joy and joy joy talk and go follow them on Instagram and leave a comment. And yes, say, thank hey. you for watching, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.